So uh, the definition of drug desensitization is essentially a method uh, in which we can reintroduce the drug that the patient has become allergic to that patient uh, safely. So the, the key word in desensitization is to uh, have a very allergic patient who may have presented an initial uh, reaction to that medication like hives, like flushing, like itching, sometimes more severe. We know that a patient needs desensitization when after a reaction we do a skin testing and we observe a positive response to that skin testing. And skin testing will be just putting a drop in their arm and then uh, proceeding to see if they have like a what we call a will and flare reaction. Mm -hmm. So if a patient developed that reaction, it means that they are sensitized to the medication mm -hmm. and every time that the patient will be exposed to the drug, they actually uh, would react if not desensitized. But there was an unmet need about patients who presented reactions to their first line therapy, patients who had cancer and reacted to their chemotherapy, patients who had severe in infections and reacted to their antibiotics, patients who had connective tissue disorders, uh, rheumatoid arthritis, Crohn's disease, and others, and reacted to their wonderful medications. And we started a program to allow those patients to be back on their first-line therapies. We have desensitized patients to all kinds of chemotherapy medications, but also to antibiotics and also to what we call monoclonal antibodies and small molecules. The process by which this uh, is uh, occurring is we divided the total dose of the medication in different bags uh, at different solutions, one in 100 solution, one in 10 solution, and the straight solution, and we approach the delivery of the medication very, very slowly. So every step of the desensitization protocol, which typically has three bags and 12 steps, or four bags and 16 steps, at each step the patient receives the doubling of the dose the step before. And by that, the immune system is strict and inhibited to react. And so patients can very safely receive uh, in about five to six hours the whole amount of medication that they need without having the symptoms of allergy or anaphylaxis. Patients might react during the desensitization protocol, and the beauty of that is we stop the infusion, uh, treat the patient, and continue. So that has allowed patients with cancer actually to continue on their cancer medication to complete their treatment plan and actually to have increased lifespans. We have also done that for monoclonal antibodies in patients with rheumatoid arthritis, with Crohn's disease, and other diseases that require monoclonal antibodies, and the patients have continued to have an excellent quality of life because they are on their first uh, therapy. Um, we also have worked with uh, cystic fibrosis patients, patients who are very prone to infections and who are also very prone to allergic reactions because they have had uh, exposure to many antibiotics. And the more people are exposed to a medication, the more the likelihood that they become allergic. Drug desensitizations are available to everybody who has a uh, allergic reaction. Uh, it has been said in the past that somebody who uh, had a very severe reaction should abandon that medication, should not uh, be uh, taking that medication again. And that uh, we have actually broken uh, that paradigm. In fact, patients who are extremely allergic, uh, who have had anaphylactic reactions to their medication, can be very safely desensitized.